am back pow, with another video. Now we're going to be talking about Mullen, Tigger Simple, M U L N. We're going to go over all the key levels, support levels, buying levels, resistance levels, what I'm looking to expect happen, anything new. Smash the like button, subscribe if you are new. If you guys want to update on Mullen tomorrow, all you got to do is get the video over 100 likes. As simple as that. So smash the like button. Give the video 100 likes, subscribe, and I will post a uh, update video on Mullen tomorrow. Now, also be mindful, we do have CPI news coming out. Make sure you go watch this video here. It says urgent, watch support market open. This is a very important video. Watch that video, okay? It goes over CPI, what I'm looking for. That's what the whole market is going to be watching. I got an AMC video before that one and an FFI, FFIV stock too. So three videos, make sure you go watch it and also subscribe. Let's get the channel over 100K subscribers. So with Mullen, as you guys know, I'm looking for two resistance levels to break, right? 23 cents and 23, 26 cents. As you guys know, I'm also watching the support level at 19 cents. So what happened today? Let's go ahead and go down. So the open was here. Where's open at? This is the open. So this is the open. It opened up pretty high after that push that we had at that support level. Now I'm going to show you guys something that happened again, right? So we had the push, came down very fast. Notice when it came down, after this initial first down movement, it stopped. It just traded sideways the whole day, okay? And then what happened again? Came back down, almost hit that support level perfect. The support level is at 19 cents. I should probably, yeah. Support level is at 19 cents, right? It literally hit that perfect. It hit that 1902. So literally hit that perfect. What happened again? Another set of buying pressure came off that support level. It's like it does not want to fall below that 19 cent support level. Like not at all which is very good, but I'm thinking we might have a push like this. I don't want that. I'd rather have a nice consistent push, something like this. I don't want to push like this because just as fast as it goes up is as fast as it come down. We saw that happen here, right? I don't want that. I'd rather have a run that's sustainable that actually starts pushing it to higher prices, but it's kind of looking like it's going to have a, some type of pop like this because one, it doesn't want to break support level. Every time it gets to that support level, it's showing buying pressure. So it is something we want to be watching out for for that pop. Now, if it does pop up, I don't plan on trading that. It needs to break that 26 cents mark for me to play anything on Mullen. They've been doing a lot of acquisitions, hired somebody new from Ford, and a lot of partnerships, right? But we need that push. We need that type of movement to kind of push uh, MULN Mullen stock a little bit higher. You guys know I'm looking for that 26 cents to take that up to about 40-ish cents, get about a 60-ish percent gain on that. Also, do not forget, make sure you use 10 Happy. You get all my buys and sales. That's the discount code. It ends on Friday. It ends on Friday. You get 10% off your first month or 10% off your first year. The discount code is Friday, and that's when prices go up. Last week, we did about a 62.7% profit for the week. The week before that, we did about a 25% profit, right? You can see all the plays here. Yes, we lose plays, but we make more on the winning plays than we lose, right? You want to have that risk management set when you look for trades. I build you guys as traders. I turn you guys into profitable traders, give you all the knowledge that you need, but it all starts with you joining. Don't worry about the dollar amount. Worry about the knowledge you can get for that dollar amount. Invest in yourself. You won't regret it, okay? So support level 19 cents, resistance 23 cents. I'm going to leave these levels here. There is a smaller resistance level, um, like around 20-ish cents, but I don't think that's going to affect nothing because it kind of did already hit it today when it opened up here. It kind of already hit that 20 cents mark here, so it kind of already hit, so I don't think it's going to be any significance. The main thing I'm looking at next is 23 cents. So watch it. As long as we don't break this 19 cents area, we should be good to go for higher side of pressure. We need that pressure to start building. The longer it lingers on here on the support, that support is going to start getting weaker. So we want that push. It seems like it always kind of pushes a little bit to the higher side. But like I said, if you guys get the video over 100 likes, I'll update you guys tomorrow. Any news, any updates, new levels on Mullen. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget, make sure you follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge. Make sure it is spelled correctly. I have 1343 followers. Make sure spell correct. There is a fake one that has three L's. Mine only has two. Okay. Mine only has two. Make sure it is spelled like this. If you see a fake one, go report it. This is my only Instagram account right here. It's the only one. I'm showing you how it's spelled right here. I'm showing you everything. How many posts, followers, how many people are following? I'm following the World Knowledge Crypto right here. This is my only one. Okay. Don't get faked out. I don't send you any messages. I'll never message you. And always remember, no stock updates in the buyer. So anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I'll catch you guys in that next one. Bye.